So a lot of people have been asking how to install Diablo 2 using Sandboxy on the computer to run multiple copies. So let's talk about that. Went ahead and written out the steps so that everybody could see them pretty easily and we'll go in depth to each one as we go through the process. One big thing to remember is that this will require different CD keys for each copy you want to use. So if you want to run three copies of Diablo, you will need three different CD keys for Diablo. You cannot use the same CD key, otherwise when you log into Battle.net, it'll just tell you that your CD key is already in use. So with that being said, let's get right into step one. Step one, you'll need to use whatever media you have, uh, whether it be the CD or the installers from Battle.net, which is what I use. Uh, you'll need to install Diablo 2 using your first CD key. After that's installed, you will go to the path of the Diablo 2 folder, such as this, right here, and you will rename the entire folder. So if I rename this to say Diablo 3, that folder is completely renamed now. So the point of it is, so the system does not recognize that path within the registry of the computer anymore as a valid Diablo install. So once you have your folder renamed, you will go back to your installation media again and install Diablo 2 again. Again, this will require a different CD key from the first one that you use. So, once you have it installed again, you will come again and rename the folder if you want to use a third or fourth copy of Diablo. If you're only wanting to run two, that's fine. You can leave it as Diablo 2. So, once we have that set up, uh, we're going to go to step five here and we're going to go to sandboxy.com, download the software and install it. This tool used to be, uh, used to cost money. Uh, it is now 100% free. So we will go to, we'll just Google sandboxy and it will bring us up the sandboxy.com website. We'll click on that and then we will go to download and we will scroll down and we will either download from this site or download from alternative uh, from my experience these both take you to the same place so it doesn't really matter which one you click on uh, so I would just say download from this site it will normally redirect you to a page from sophos.com which is the people that now own Sandboxy and have made it a free utility. So if they ask you to fill out anything, you can just put in fake information and just accept the agreement that they have there and download it. So after it's downloaded, you'll want to install it. It's a real simple install. It's just a next, next, next. And then once it's installed, the way that I like to set up my Diablo 2's to run within Sandboxy is via shortcuts. So what I'll do is I'll set up a shortcut for each Diablo 2 that I'm going to run. So I have three copies. So what I'll do is I will come in here. Let me actually delete the ones that I have now just so I can show you. Come in here and the, the EXE that we want to use is the game.exe. So we're going to right click on it, we're going to go to send to desktop. So now this copy is on my desktop. And what I like to do is right click on it and name it Diablo 1. So I know that it's the first install of Diablo that I did. So it's using my first CD key. The second thing that we're going to want to do is right click on the shortcut again and go to properties and then set it for window mode which is a space with a dash w if you don't do this it's not going to load properly when you try to sandbox it 
So then I'll come back to my install folder and I'll go to my second copy of Diablo 2 and I'll do the same thing. I'll right click on game.exe, send to desktop, and it creates my shortcut. So then I'm going to come over here and rename this to Diablo 2. So I know that's my second copy of the installation. And then I'm going to go in the properties once again and put it in window mode. Again, that's a space with a dash W. So for my third one, I will come back. I will go in my installation folder again. Look for the game.exe. Right click, send to desktop. Rename it as Diablo 3. Right click, go to properties, and then put in space dash W for window mode. So now that my, my icons are all set up, let's see how we run this in sandboxy. So after sandbox is installed, all you have to do is right click on this icon and click run as sandboxed. You'll see that I have set up three different options within my sandbox environment. Each one of these is essentially a contained copy of Diablo 2 that we're going to run and they match with the three that I have here. So I'm going to hit cancel and we will open up Sandboxy. And we'll talk about how to set up each one of these little instances. So once you have the Sandboxy control window open, we're going to come up to the top, click on Sandbox, create new sandbox. Rinse and repeat this for for however many copies of Diablo you want to run. So I'm running three, so I created three. Uh, I just named them all D1, D2, and D3, as you saw earlier. Once you have all of your copies here that you want, you can just exit out of this and then come back to the icons like we were previously and right click, run as sandbox. I'm going to choose the first one because that's my Diablo 1 that I just ran and hit OK. So now it's going to run in window mode because that's what I put it in by using that dash W command. And then I will come over here, right click the second one, run sandboxed, and select D2 for my second copy. Open that up big. And then for my third copy, I will come back over here, right click the Diablo 3 icon and run sandboxed and select D3. So there you have it. There's three copies of Diablo 3 running on my computer right now as all three separate instances and they're easy enough to exit out. At this point, they're just regular Diablo windows. No hacks. It's completely legal. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer them. Have a good one.